ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Dead Here once again, and in today's video, I am going to be uh, responding to Russell T. Davis's pitch for a MCU-style Doctor Who format, and that is essentially the Marvel Cinematic Universe. That if you aren't familiar with it, I mean, a lot of people are, but I'll, I'll explain it anyway. So essentially, in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, it's split across various films that star very... D various uh, different characters, such as Iron Man, Captain America, and the Hulk, and they all have their own solo films, and then they come together for a big film, aka the Avengers. And recently they've started going off into different um, individual series, is, uh, such as WandaVision and Falcon and the Winter Soldier on Disney+. Plus. So, in this way we're getting different formats. Now, the reason why I'm talking about this is because in a Radio Times interview, Russell T. Davis did pitch the idea that Doctor Who should get the same treatment. Now, in 2006 and up until 2011, uh, he was the writer for not only just Doctor Who, but also Torchwood and the Sarah Jane Adventures. Even when he left Doctor Who in 2010, he continued to look after the Torchwood and the Sarah Jane Adventures all together. Now, obviously, he had um, a different presence in the spin-offs, because obviously his main focus was Doctor Who, but he looked over all three shows, and there was, like, a continuity between them all. For example, uh, at the end of Series 1 of Torchwood, Captain Jack hears the TARDIS, and that leads into Utopia, the episode from Series 3 in Doctor Who, where we see Captain Jack running towards the TARDIS. So that sense of continuity does exist in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But let's have a look at what he said to the Radio Times. Alright, so here we go. Russell T. Davis says Doctor Who should have Marvel-style shared universe of spin-ups. He feels that Doctor Who should be just as ambitious as Hollywood's major franchises. I was in the middle of running an empire, Russell said, of his time on Doctor Who. And my god, I did that ten years too soon, didn't I? Obviously referring to what we were just on about, where he was running both spin-offs alongside the main show. And then he continued to say, there should be a Doctor Who channel now. You look at those Disney announcements of all those new Star Wars and Marvel shows, you think we should be sitting here announcing the Nyssa Adventures or the return of Donna Noble, and you should have the 10th and 11th Doctors together in a 10-part series, genuinely. The most recent Doctor Who spin-off, again, was Class, and then obviously there was the YouTube animated series. But we actually haven't had a lot of um, spin-offs Doctor Who recently after Torchwood and the Sarah Jane Avengers ended. So uh, he did add, you laugh, but did Star Trek fans ever think they'd be getting a Captain Pike series ever? That's insane. The whole science fiction world is so creative and so money making right now. I think your wildest dreams can come true. Straight away, um, my conclusion to this interview is that, yeah, Russell is right. Doctor Who should be having spin-offs. And obviously, I know there are problems with the main show at the moment uh, that some people have uh, in terms of like the format and obviously shorter episodes and stuff like that. But imagine what they could do with having spin-offs when the show's off air. Because obviously, production for Doctor Who is increasing. Like the production time it takes roughly ten months to a full year to get Doctor Who out. But imagine if they had different production teams working on spin-offs and Chris Chibnall was overseeing it all. Because let's be honest. If you could bring back something like Torchwood or have, like, a younger uh, version of Doctor Who as well. Like, so the Sarah Jane Avengers was for younger Doctor Who fans. It was like a, it was like an entry series, the way I always saw it. It was like an entry way for, you know, getting into that franchise. So imagine if we had something similar, maybe with Joe Grant or Ace. Something like that would be amazing. And as well, it would bring back a classic Doctor Who companion as well. That would be amazing. But it wouldn't have to be limited to classic Who companions. Could also bring back Martha or Mickey or, you know, the possibilities are uh, endless. Because, oh my, there are so many characters and different plot points that could be turned into a spin off. And I do hope that in the future we do get to see this fully realised. But again, it, it is a really, really. Um, you know, sad thing that Doctor Who isn't embracing this shared universe thing because back in the day, it did. And with Torchwood and the Sarah Jane Adventures running alongside Doctor Who, it ran all the way up until the Stolen Earth and Journey's End 
where those worlds collided. And I, that's why I, I enjoy those two episodes so much. Is because they all came together to fight a big threat. Similar to how across the 22 Marvel films it led to the Avengers all forming together to fight Thanos. So if Doctor Who could do it that would be amazing. And the popularity of the show is still there. So it might even increase the popularity. Especially with bringing back torture maybe or something like that. But I guess we'll see what happens. But thank you very much for tuning into today's video. I will be doing a follow-up to this video, by the way, for a top five spin-offs I would like to see come out from Doctor Who. So you might want to stay tuned for that. But I'll see you all next time. Be sure to subscribe for more nerdy content. And yeah, bye.